everyone, it's Wendy here from Wendy Wise Beauty. Thanks for stopping by and for visiting me on my channel. For my returning subscribers, I would just like to once again say thank you for supporting me and for supporting this channel. For those of you who are new, I hope you will like my content enough to consider subscribing. Please give me a thumbs up and leave me some comments regardless of whether or not you like my video. I am always appreciative of your feedback and please let me know of anything you would like to see on this channel going forward. Today, this video, it is about the Whitney Houston palette. This is the Whitney Houston palette which was released from MAC, I believe this came out a bit prior to the holiday season. I can't remember exactly when. I just picked this up recently when I came back from vacation. I was a bit torn about this palette. I love Whitney Houston so very much. The color story, I was not sure if it was really mine because um, some of the colors I don't really gravitate towards. I did like uh, the purple and I also loved uh, the shimmer quasi midnight blue purple color. When I bought this uh, palette, I also bought a lipstick. As a bonus, when I got this uh, palette, I did get a free MAC lipstick. It is in the color Ruby Woo. I think I did have Ruby Woo a long time ago. I don't have one in my collection now. So this is really awesome. This palette here, it's costing 48 euros and 99 cents. And it has a 12 grams of product. There are eight colors. Here are some swatches of the shades in the palette. This one, it is called Nippy's Sand Dust. This one is Nippy Taupe Dust. This is Nippy Chestnut. And this is Nippy grape. This one, it is Nippy Platinum. It is a shimmer shade. The next one, this is called Nippy Melon. Then this is Nippy Grape. This is a beautiful color. And then there is Nippy Noir. So these are all the eight colors in the palette. Actually, guys, sorry, this purple color, it is called Nippy Crease. This one is the Nippy Grape. My favorite colors in this palette, it was the Nippy Crease, which is this purple shimmer color. I liked the Nippy Platinum a lot. This, these two colors really called to me. This is the Nippy Grape. In the palette, it is a lot lighter than when it is applied on the eye area. Guys, I have not seen uh, many reviews for this palette. Well, definitely not on my feed. On my eyes, I am wearing five of the colors. Okay, guys, to achieve this look, I added nippy dust all over uh, my eyes eye as a base and then I went in with Nippy Melon as a soft transition color and then I added Nippy Grape in the crease and then I added Nippy Platinum and then Nippy Crease. When I started up doing this eye look, I originally wanted to go in with Nippy Taupe, which is this color, in my crease. 
However, it ended up being a lot deeper than it appears in the pan. On my skin tone, this is no taupe. It ends up being more of a grey-blue uh, color. So I took everything down and then I started again. My eyes are so irritated at the moment. It actually, it's burning because I fought with these colors so much to blend them and to get the look that I was going for to work. I mean the shimmer colors Nippy Crease and also Nippy Platinum. These two colors applied quite easily but what is a bit strange is that the Nippy Platinum, the intensity of this color, I really like this as a shimmer color and on my eyes a lot of the shimmer it is gone already maybe I need a different kind of eyeshadow base today I used my concealer but I do this all the time and I have never had problems with my um, eyeshadows before I must also say that I did have quite a lot of fallout with these eyeshadows. This is a first impressions video, but honestly, this palette, yeah, I bought it because it was Whitney Houston. Also, I thought that the case was plastic. I mean, I will keep this, yes, as a collector's item, because I can't see myself reaching for this palette a lot. This was marketed as an everyday palette. It's very sad for me because I love Whitney Houston a lot. I always loved her makeup looks. She always looked so stunning and I had such high hopes for this, but yeah. I did use a combination of my Refa and my Angie Hot and Flashy brushes. Well, I do use these brushes for a lot of my makeup looks, so I don't think it's the brushes. Onto the lipstick, I was only able to get the shade Nippy's Moody Nude because all the other ones were sold out. This is the color of the lipstick. It is a light mauve nude. I am wearing it today. I am not wearing a liner. I think with a liner it would probably look even more pronounced. I like the idea of nude lipsticks for women of my skin tone for women of color where we don't have to wear uh, liners. This one works quite well and on top of it I just added a lip gloss. This is from Rival de Loop. Rival de Loop, yeah, it's a drugstore brand here. I love their lip glosses. So I just added this on top and I do like the lipstick. This is the same lipstick with my uh, Mudslide lip liner from Gerard Cosmetics. Now I just blended it with uh, Foxy Brown from uh, Charlotte Tilbury. I do like this lipstick very much. I think it's quite uh, versatile. Anyway, guys, this is it for this one. It is my first impressions on this palette. So like I said, everything is relative to taste and also your skill maybe as a makeup artist. I am not a makeup artist. So I am doing on this channel a lot of makeup that you wear every day. I do have a lot of meetings at work on Zoom, so I cannot on an everyday basis do full glam. A lot of times I am looking for palettes where I can get 
easy everyday looks that uh, I do not have to be so self-conscious at work when I am wearing them. Guys, just one thing I would like to mention. Some of you have said to me that you do not automatically get my videos in your feeds. Don't forget to hit the bell button so you will be reminded when I upload a video. So anyway, take care guys. Hope to see you again soon on my channel. Please subscribe and don't forget to send me a few comments. Ciao!